So welcome to my completely um, associative video. So in this building, and, oh no, in this, in this building, in this cellar, was the headquarters of the Jewish underground, Etzel. Um, between, oh, there's an English part, I don't have to translate. Between 1944-1947, the years of uprising against the British mandate. Interesting. So we're getting near one of the most beautiful buildings in Tel Aviv, in my opinion, which is the house where the national poet, Nachman Bialik, who was, without question, he was a really great poet, and yours truly, I, if you haven't guessed what yours truly is me, uh, I am sort of related because my father's cousin married his sister. So there is common blood between him and me. And yes, I do write poems and I will read them one day. So we're getting near the... This, is, this was the first um, municipality, I think, of Tel Aviv. It's now a little museum. Um, I love this place. It's so beautiful. One of the more expensive parts of Tel Aviv. And there's another edition of my cat, but not like my cat. can't believe I haven't seen him for so long. I'm addicted to him. So this is the house of Biali. They have wonderful programs, wonderful, wonderful programs, uh, literature, of uh, Israeli literature, very quality. Sadly, only elderly people come, but that's life. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest co colony of cats so I've ever seen, ever. So I love this place. Look at the giraffe. Why do we put the giraffe here? Mm -hmm. um, look at these cats. My gosh. These are the happiest cats in Tel Aviv. Look how nice. Ought to be a cat here. Look at them. And there's another version of Sam. Actually, because they're babites. Ata machil ata? Maxime. Actually, because כזה כזה יש לי, כן, אתם משפוחה, בדיוק כזה נמר, איזה חתולים מקסימים, משהו, אין עליהם, אין לו טוב, and this is the musical library or whatever, I don't know, there's this place magical, there's no stars, but it's really nice, and the kitty cats, so, um, words I want to share. So I had a wonderful evening, a concert with Yael Levy, which I'm going to upload as soon as I get home. And then wonderful Israeli singer, really iconic, really, really one of the best. Her voice or the sound was a bit off. They both had the flu, she and the guitar player. She at first was a bit, hmm, not that friendly. Then she woke up and, and I felt really like I do that too. Sometimes I'm not, mm, get, I'm not in the mood. And then she really got in the mood and she began to sing uh, better. She had, when she was young, she had the most amazing bell-like voice. And I think sadly the voice is not the same, but she's really nice, simple and talented. Um, but there was a problem with the sound. I can't say exactly what it was. I don't know, because I don't know enough. But I know that it was something not a bit off. So it's a good concert, and I wanted to talk again. I wanted to say that I've had the most amazing distraction of my life with Harry and Meghan thing, because um, I can't believe it's one o'clock in the morning. Oh, look at this building, the Bauhaus. Wow, wow. These buildings are really amazing and quite expensive to live here. It's beautiful. So, maybe I should talk more quietly. 
So Megan and Harry have been distracting me from everything. Like everything that bothers you, it's like there's no Australian fires, there's no Iranian threat, there's no rockets. It's all about Harry and Megan. Harry, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Like we have to worry about these millionaires. Um, it's so it's such a, a joke, you know. And for me, what I wanted to speak about is the way that oh uh, well this is yeah you agree yeah he agrees so for me what's really interesting to note is that harry is completely accelerated he's like so happy i've never seen him smile like that since he married that woman which sort of strength strengthens backs up the theory that Meghan Markle is a bit of a narcissist or a, a woman who just like lets us on to her husband and just like bosses him around, tells him what to do, constantly puts her arms around him. And all of a sudden he's like, I'm free. He's smiling. He's like, oh, like a sigh of relief. I'm free. And she's like all the way in Canada. So I think Harry is actually more clever than we thought. So he's just like, okay, Megan, let's go to Canada. She's like, I want to go to Canada. She's like whining. I don't like Britain. They're saying mean things about me in the papers, blah, blah, blah. So he says, oh, okay. Okay, dear. Whatever you say, dear. So he's just like, okay, let's go to Canada. Packs up this, their bags. Goes with her to Canada and says, I'm just going to go talk to the queen. <laughs> <laughs>